You are a natural born public speaker, and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. So the CRT stuff, BS. And I remember the frustration at listening to, you know, all of these white people who have PhDs in meaninglessness, you know, a PhD in racism and white supremacy, and they're talking about black people, and it never once occurred for them to just listen to me, right? And so you kind of said that you had a similar experience where it's, it's, it's a bizarre thing. It's like you step into a weird world where you realize, you know, is this even about black people anymore, or is this just white people trying to make themselves feel superior to their other white peers? Right. Like, hey, I know, I know I'm, I'm white. And I know it better than the other whites because I see what's going on with the blacks. And the blacks don't know what's going on with the blacks because we don't, they, they just don't know. And that's why we're telling their story. Right. And I'm sitting here like, I am the story. You're going to tell my story for me. And so for me to come out of the ghetto, for me to come out of the hood, for me to come out of seeing people getting murdered in my face, I'm talking about flat out murder. Y'all, you have no idea the psychological effects these type of things can have on you. So you end up becoming numb. You see so much crime that you become numb. And so in a sense, I'm kind of thankful for that because a lot of stuff that's coming at me right now, I don't care. No. No, no, no white person can sit there and tell me my experience. And no white person can sit there and tell me that a black person cannot achieve anything that they do not want to achieve. I know that y'all are trying to push. When I say y'all, I mean like this system, this, this narrative is trying to be pushed on kids, on children, on black people, that the reason why they cannot achieve anything is because of what if something that, something that happened completely in the past. Mm -hmm. What about right now? What can you do right now? How does something that happened that many years ago is affecting you right now? And some of them tried to come out and say things like, well, we want true history taught. And they always go to Christopher Columbus. He didn't discover America, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, well, can we go beyond that? Can we go, how did the slaves get here? Let's talk about that. If you want to talk about real history, how did the slaves get here? Who sold the slaves? Do you really believe that three boats came to that big giant continent in Africa where all these black people is? And they just said, let's go round them up. Even if they had guns and all Africans had spears and shoot guns, there is no way you're going to be able to overtake that continent and just steal black people. So if you want to talk about real history, let's talk about how somebody look exactly like you sold you to those white people. Right. Well, no, we don't want to go there. Oh, no, no, we want to go there. You say you want to talk about the truth. We're going to talk about the truth. And when you do that, they instantly would try to deflect and get on something else. Well, what makes you so what? No, we're not talking about right now. Can we stay on the subject? Right. And that's what they like to do. But to sit there and try to take away my experience and what I had to go through and how uh, I put my mind to wanting to achieve something, there was nothing that was there. Guys, I was so, so naive and so ignorant that when they told me that there was the white man and there was the systemic racism, institutionalized racism, I believed it so much that I went out asking, looking for that man. And that man and that system, whoever it was, it did not exist. And once I found that it did not exist, there was nothing that was stopping me. Right, you know, there's something that I have noticed and you kind of hit upon this. People that are the most ignorant about black history are black people. Mm -hmm. There is just this weird, almost a fairy tale like story of we were all kings and queens, and then the evil white man came and hunted on hunted onto Africa and took us in chains and slavery, that's when slavery began. And it's just it's so purposefully diluted, right? Purposely diluted. Obviously, we were not all kings and, and, and no. queens. We were slaves. We were slaves that were sold, you know, for things as meaningless, actually. Mm -hmm. We were sold by our ancestors for things as meaningless as gin and mirrors. They'd say, okay, give me a mirror and I'll give you 10 slaves, you know, 10 or 20 slaves. Um, and, and yet there seems to be this total disconnect about our own history. And they think that America is unique and that it's like the first continent to have slavery. And that just, it's, it always boggles my mind how uneducated black yes. Americans remain about black history, but it's almost not our fault because the school system, That's right. as you are realizing, is hitting upon it. And now they're, they're even deepening that wedge between black Americans and their true history. That's right. So if you really got down to the history of slavery period and seen that it was something that was worldwide, the Chinese had a huge slave thing, the Islamic had, a matter of fact, when the, when the slaves got freed over here in America, the Islamic still had white people that was enslaved while people in America were being free, the black slaves were. So to me, uh, you made a really interesting point on a few of the videos that I've seen of you where you talk about how they just really much, they ride off of the emotions. And one thing that's really fascinating about that is being a minister, that same exact thing is in church. They'll hit you with something, da, da, our queens, we were queens, we were this, and black folks, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then preachers will get up there and talk about God can do this, and he, won't he do it? And black people, yeah, yeah. But when you go to them afterwards and you say, 
What exactly was the message behind that? I don't know, but they said something. <laughs> it's just, it got you worked up. It got you, you know, whatever they were saying, you were feeling so good about it that you thought that they were saying something that actually was impactful when indeed it wasn't. Right. And that's what they do right now. They just, everybody out there in the streets, black lives matter and this matter and that matter. If it really mattered, if black lives really matter, then why aren't you in the neighborhoods actually showing black people how much a black life matter mm -hmm. instead of just going around and talking and preaching about it and not putting your foot to it and doing anything? Absolutely. <laughs> What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things to make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first, all right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into the description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? Let peace.